I'm ready, man. I can't wait. We'll change up. Yeah, there's something different, maybe, right? <laughs> Four. We were kind of tallying up the fakes, right? So I think six or seven now, is that correct? In your two is it seven or six? I don't know. Yeah, I think one didn't work against Green Bay. Green Bay. Successful at them when I'm guessing the opponents are probably on pretty high alert for them. Um, yeah, I would say uh, at the end of the day, really, uh, and I mean this, it's a player's game. And those guys went out and they just executed um, against the look that we had out there. Obviously, I think that helps. You know, there's we have the ability to put it on or take it off, you know, against things that we like or don't like, uh, looks that we like or don't like. So usually when we're running them, we're not running them into something that we, you know, don't think it's going to work against. Um, so I think that helps. Um, but uh, I would say ultimately it comes down to those guys execute and they do a great job of it. The head coach makes it important. He puts a bunch of time into it himself. He watched a lot of film on all that stuff. Um, and uh, those guys did a great job executing it. Yeah, I would say that's the funny thing. I was thinking about that. Uh, my office, it's like, you know, what I don't know that whatever the numbers are five or six six seven whatever that is but I was like yeah well if they only really knew how many we actually had uh, but no I would say there's been plenty more they just haven't gotten off the ground because we haven't gotten a look um, but yeah so well I don't know we'll see uh, it's been good the guys enjoy doing it and they've done a good job executing it I, I would say we also got to be smart about it and not get carried away you know make sure it's a play that works for us and doesn't backfire is it on just the one play or do you ever go in with maybe two plays like you know, multiple looks that work for you yeah maybe <laughs> <laughs> Week. Yeah, I would just say I'm not going to go into that in too much detail. But yeah, I mean, ultimately, he has the ability to check it on or off and uh, ultimately he ran it. So he didn't tell me he thought it was cloudy. Point about, I don't know, being on the defense is being on high alert. Like, do you hear that more often now than maybe in a past coaching life? Like, are they? Yeah, I would are say they doing something different to account for all the fakes you guys have Yeah, I, I always I would look at it like if I were playing us, what would I be thinking? I think that's kind of how you look at yourself all the time. Um, and I know that if I were playing us, I would make sure that we were making good choices and putting our guys in good positions and trying to take as much of it away from them as possible, but also still trying to create some opportunity for yourself too, you know. What's it mean once he's cleared to, to get Kabinda back for your, your groups? Yeah, we'll find out. Uh, I think he's, he was out there at practice yesterday, so it was, it was really good to have him back. I mean, obviously, I love the guy. He played great for us a year ago on special teams, a good special teams player. Everyone knows that throughout his career. Um, and uh, so, obviously, he would help out when that time comes. We'll see if it's this week or kind of just how it plays out. But. Is there a particular thing he does well? for you on special teams, a particular role that, that he fills that he does maybe better than a lot of guys? Yeah, good question. I would say ultimately the thing he does well is probably just that. He's good in all four phases for us, so he's just a you know, multifunctional player who can do a lot of different things and have a lot of different roles. He's an offender who's you know been a fullback and he's used to catching the ball, but he also was a defender early in his career, even in this league. You know, as a linebacker, is how he came in. So he's got a good defensive skill set. So you're talking about you know making tackles and plays that way. So he's got really what you want: offensive fundamentals and defensive fundamentals. Especially problems last season, especially late playoffs. How how are they different now? Yeah, I would say. I don't know, man. I, I feel like when I watch the film, I know people feel that way about them. But when I watch the film, I think these guys are have some really good players. Uh, number 25, who Bisaccia brought with them from Oakland there or Las Vegas. Uh, he's an explosive player. He's now they got him back at kickoff return. A uh, guy can run. He's strong. He's physical. He's made some plays. One of those things got called back on a penalty, but he's been really productive. Um, and then he's a gunner and a jammer. They have number 20, Rudy Ford, who's a guy who I had in Philly. I mean, he's one of the fastest players um, in the National Football League, in my opinion, or at least playing on the perimeter on special teams. Um, and he's physical and strong and tough and competitive. 
Uh, he's a great player, so those two guys. And then they got 24, rookie out of Georgia Tech, who's done a nice job for them, kind of a slash around guy. And they got number 38, it's another one of those slash around players. So I see a bunch of talent on the roster. Um, they're well coached. I have a lot of respect for Rich. Uh, you know, he was in Dallas when I was in Philly, so we gone against each other a lot, and he does a great job with those guys. Um, so I think they're on their way to improving. Week to week business, but. Michael's uh, really done well in his, his first few weeks here. Um, do you do you get that sense of calm that he's kind of maybe settled that situation down a little bit? Um, yeah, I would say I think to your point, like I had said a couple of weeks ago, you know, hopefully we can settle it down or quiet it down. Uh, you know, I think he's done a great job. Uh, he's gone in there and every opportunity he's had, he's made the most of it. Uh, he is very comfortable with who he is. He knows exactly who he is. Um, and uh, he's very effective, or he's been very effective for us. I got a lot of confidence in him.